Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, lesson is a review for a factoring test coming up. So uh, it's our integrated math two class. We've had to supplement a whole bunch for this uh, for this module. So anyway, so here we go. Um, so if you are okay with part one and part two, you should be uh, very prepared for your test. Um, and in our class, it's tomorrow. Anyway, so factor completely. Here we go. So x squared plus 6x plus 8. Okay, this was uh, when we first were introduced with factoring. This is where it goes um, uh, when it's just an x squared. Then it's uh, it's parentheses, parentheses, and then you put an x in each one right there. So it's going to look something like this, you guys. So uh, x uh, parentheses, and then you another x parentheses and then you're going to figure out what's going in those parentheses and what goes in these parentheses are what times what equals eight but they add to six okay so it's four and two so you put plus four in here and plus two or plus two and plus four okay all right so here we have a difference of squares so remember a difference of squares is x plus y x minus y so this is three x squared this is five squared so there's our minus sign for the difference right there. So it's 3x plus 5, 3x minus 5, okay? Okay, this one here. All right, so first before, it sure looks like a difference of squares because there's a square right there and there's a minus sign. So if we pulled out a 2 out of both of these, we would come to, did I do that? Yeah, we'd come to uh, 81x squared minus 36. But from here out of this, we can keep factoring and pull a, a 9 out of this. So if we pull a 9 out of that, then we have the 2 outside with the 9. And so uh, 9 times eight, 9 is 81 and 9 times 4 is 36. So now it becomes um, uh, 9x squared minus 4. Now, if you can recognize, I couldn't, you guys, but if you can recognize that 18 is the greatest comma factor, then that's great too. But it's going to be 18 and then the difference of squares. So 18 times um, 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2, okay? Don't forget your GCF right there. Here, if you would have done this right here, and you would have gotten uh, 9x plus 6, 9x minus 6, and out of each one of those, you can pull a 3 out, and that would have gotten us uh, 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2. But you would have pulled a 3 out of both of them, so 3 and 3, and this 2 would have given us that 18. Okay, whatever works, okay? All right, so um, uh, the other math teachers, uh, they love the guessing and checking method, and I don't, so I don't teach it that way. So I teach, uh, I call it smiley face factoring. So it's because we multiply these outer two numbers together. So 15 times 4 is 60. And then you start thinking of all the factors of 60. Okay, so here's all the factors of 60. Now, if you, you don't have to list all of these. If you just know the pair that's going to add to this negative 23. So I know it's going to be a negative and a negative. And we're going to use this pair right here. So it's going to be negative. Th we're going to replace this negative 23x squared with negative 3x squared minus 20x squared. And so, uh, so when we do that, now we can factor by grouping. Okay, so we'll group these two together, and then we'll group these two together. So we've done several of these in our class. Just remember, since this negative is right here, then when you put parentheses right here, it's going to always change the sign of the second guy right there. Okay, all right, now we're ready to um, uh, GCF. So we can GCF out of these guys a 3x squared. Okay, so when we pull a 3x squared out of 15x to the fourth, we have 5x squared. Okay, and when we pull a 3x squared out of 3x squared, we're left with 1, but it's minus 1, so we'll put a minus 1 right there. All right, out of these two guys, we can pull a 4 out, and so we're left with um, 4 times 5x squared, and then 4 times 1. So now we have the common... Uh, blue 5x squared minus 1. So let's pull that out and you're left with the red stuff. Okay. All right. Try this guy. Okay. This guy, whenever you see four terms, one, two, three, four, it's always factoring by grouping. Okay. Almost always. But for us right now, it's always. Okay. So here I can pull a 7x squared out. Here we'll pull a 4 out. And when we do that, uh, we're going to be left with x minus 3. When we pull the 4 out, x minus 3. And there you go. Okay. All right. Uh, so here, uh, again, uh, that's not our 1x squared. So I'm going to do the smiley face factoring. 3 times negative 20 is again negative 60, or it's negative 60. Here's our factors of negative 60. We're looking for the pair. So so if you don't know, you know, which ones they are, just start with 1. 1 times 60. 
2 times 30, 3 goes into 60, 20 times 4 does, 4 times 15, 5 times 12, 6 times 10, okay? Take you a little bit, but then you're going to look for the pair that gives me negative 11. So uh, negative 11 will come from this pair right here, okay? So we're going to replace that um, uh, negative 11 with those numbers, negative 15x plus 4x. Then we can factor by grouping, and then uh, when we pull the, the 3x out, we're left with x minus 5. We pull the 4 out, x minus 5, and you pull the x minus 5s out, and there you go. All right. Uh, and then uh, finally here, uh, let's see, I know 3 goes into both of these, and we can pull some x's and y's and z's. You always pull the smallest group out, so we'll pull out x to the third. We'll pull out this y right here, and we'll pull out this z right there, okay? So when we do that, so 3x, uh, we pulled a three, the 3 out, so there's no more number here except a 1. And we pulled three of the x's out, so there's one x left. We pulled two, uh, one of the y's out, this one y out, so there's a uh, one left. And we pulled the z out, so there's no z left. So what do we have, x, y? Yeah. And then uh, three goes into 75, 25 times. We pulled um, uh, the three x's out, no more x's. We pulled that y out. We pulled one of the z's out, so z cubed. Okay, and then this doesn't factor anymore. So this is, um, uh, if this was, say, z to the fourth or z to the sixth or z squared, and if this was x squared, y squared, then we'd have a difference of squares. But that's not a square right there. And even though 25 is, z cubed is not a square. So we're done with that. That's the answer right there, okay? All right, last one, you guys. Okay, start, uh, end it with something easy, GCF, and you can pull a... Uh, a 3 out of this, and um, you, you guys know the trick for 3, if you add the digits, 3 plus 9 is 12, and since 3 goes into 12, 3 goes into thir uh, 39, so 3 goes in there once, and there 3 times, so 3 times 13, so so there it is right there. Okay, if you guys are in our class, we're giving you a, a, the last worksheet, we're going to go back to our textbook after this. Hey, good luck on your test, let us know how you did, take care.